Hi, this is Professor Cummings. I wanted to do a, another video today, but I wanted to uh, go specifically on planetary gearing and calculating the underdrive condition. Uh, the underdrive condition is a condition that you want to put your, your vehicle or your you know, motor into uh, when you're trying to lower the RPM, for whatever reason, lower that RPM, but also raise the torque. You know, so if you're doing off-roading or you just need a high torque condition, you would go into your underdrive condition. And according to our, you know, five laws of planetary gearing, underdrive is when your carrier is the output. That's regardless of whether your input is the sun or the ring gear. So the problem that we're going to look at today, and I just put this image up here of a boat motor, of an outboard motor, um, is a 1000 RPM motor. Is tied to a gearbox with a propeller output. What is the output speed? You know, again, that's your underdrive output speed. You know, so the carrier is going to be the output. And I want to give you an, two examples. Um, both of them are going to be in um, underdrive. We're going to, one's going to be a uh, tabular method. The other one's going to be a uh, algebraic method. And we're going to look at both of the underdrive possible underdrive conditions. So let's see. So that is our problem. And if we look at that, now we've got the same problem here. We've got an, an underdrive condition, 1000 RPM motor uh, tied to a gearbox. Uh, the input is going to be the sun gear, and we're going to give that 72 teeth. The output is the carrier, and the ring gear has 120 teeth. So what is the output speed? So this is going to be the same condition, or the same gears uh, in both scenarios. And, you know, we looked at the algebraic method, and there's several calculations, you know, because of all the different conditions. But these are, are underdrive conditions, and then there's this one that is just the uh, the reversal. But you've got the sun as the input, the output is the carrier, and the reactionary is the ring. You know, the ring doesn't have an RPM tied to it. And you've got this algebraic equation that will give you the velocity ratio. We have the other method, which is the ring gear as the input. Again, carrier is still the output. And, you know, the sun is the one that's, you know, it doesn't have an RPM tied to it. And you can see that the velocity ratio is just slightly different. So we're going to look at both of those methods as well as the corresponding tabular method of doing things. Or excuse me, the, the, yeah, the tabular method of doing it. So first we are going to look at the sun as the input gear. All right, so we've got the sun as the input gear. So 1 plus the number of teeth on the ring over the number of teeth on the sun. So if we plug that into, you know, plug that into our, our uh, different variables, uh, 1 plus 120 teeth on the ring divided by the uh, number of teeth on the sun gear, we end up with a velocity ratio of 2.67. You have your output. Uh, it's going to be 1,000 RPM divided by your, your velocity ratio. You know, it's just the way you calculate velocity ratio. And you have an output of 375 RPM. So that is using the algebraic method. You know, your carrier, your output, your carrier is the output, and it's going to rotate at 375. So that's what we expect, something less than 1,000 RPM. So it is stepping the RPM down. Now, if we look at that and we try the tabular method, you know, here we have the, the tabular. But remember, with the tabular method, the real uh, key is that this last row, those are the equations we're ultimately going to be using. All right, so let's go ahead and look at those equations, and we'll start with the ring gear equation. So again, your uh, input is your sun, your output is your carrier, your ring is reactionary, so that means we're going to set that equation to zero for the ring. So that is y minus x times 72 teeth over 120 teeth. You know, that's the sun over the ring is equal to zero RPM. So now we can, it's going to be simultaneous equations between the sun and the ring. And so we're going to, you know, basically do the calculation for the 72 over 20, which is 0 0.6. So y minus uh, 0 0.6 times x is equal to 0. Simplify that, uh, adding uh, 0.6x to both sides of the equation. And I'm going to solve for x, divide both sides by 0.6. So x is equal to y 
divided by 0.6. So now we can take that and substitute it into our sun equation, which is simply x plus y is equal to 1000 RPM. Since our sun is the input, since our sun is the input, let me make this a pointer, appropriate pointer. Since the sun is the input, this is the equation we're going to use, x plus y. So x plus y is equal to 1000 RPM. That gives us our, our velocity that the input of the sun is giving you. And we can substitute that value of x of y is equal to 0 0.6. So now we have y is over 0 0.6 plus y is equal to 1000 RPM. We'll do our addition. 2.67 times y is equal to 1000 RPM. Solve for y. So y is 375. And that is our, uh, the RPMs for the carrier. You know, that just the carrier is the y variable. So the carrier rotates at 375. So they verify each other. The tabular method and the algebraic method do verify one another. So and that both is the uh, underdrive condition. Now, we can look at this in terms of the ring as the input. And again, remember, this is the equation. The ring is the input. The carrier is the output. The sun is going to be set to zero. R is the under or reactionary, no RPMs. And our velocity ratio equation changes slightly. It's now one plus the number of teeth in the sun over the number of teeth in the ring. So I'm going to use that particular equation. Simple plugging of the teeth. Uh, 1 plus 72 over 120. And you end up with a velocity ratio of 1.6. And so that means our output is 1,000 over 1 1.6 or 625 RPM. So now we can look at the tabular method and see if we get the same thing. Just to verify what we saw. So again, remember this is our tabular method and these are the equations that we are concerned with. Alrighty, so our ring is our input, and our output is our carrier. And these are the teeth, 120, 270, and 72 for the sun. So the output speed for both of these, or for this particular condition, we'll start with the sun equation, since that sun is going to be set at 0. So x plus y is equal to 0. So y is equal to a negative x. Or we could have said x is equal to a negative y. Um, we can look at the ring condition. And now we got this second equation. The second equation here. So y minus x times 72 teeth over 120 teeth is equal to 1000 RPM this time. We can do a substitution. You know, or do the calculation of, of 0 0.6 just like the last time, but now it's equal to 1,000. Then we can do our substitution. And that is for, you know, the value of y is just a negative x. So now it goes to y plus 0 0.6 times y is equal to 1,000 RPM. Do our algebra, and we get 1.6 times y is equal to 1,000. Divide both sides by 1,000, and we have y is equal to 625. So that means our carrier is going at 625. So again, we've shown that that is, you know, the same. So both of our methods. So both of these are underdrive conditions, so long as your carrier is your output. And you can see when we look at the algebraic or the tabular method, oops, that should have been a thousand. <laughs> both of these, that was a copy problem. Uh, we still with the output of, you know, 375 and 675. So both methods work. Both methods are viable. And it really comes down to which one works for you, which one you want to do. If you use the tabular method, you've got those three equations to concern yourself with. If you have the algebraic method, you've got like six equations, depending on the condition that, that we're looking at. So far, we looked at underdrive. So you've got two different equations for the underdrive. So it really comes down to which one you want to use, but you can always look at both of them to verify that you do get the same answer. So again, this is Professor Cummings. I uh, just wanted to show you the conditions since we did a, or I did a video on the different laws of gearing and just kind of demonstrate them for you. Um, again, 
I will talk to you soon. Go ahead and like the video. Uh, share it to people who might need it. I'm putting them on my Facebook page so they get to a little bit more people. Um, but just anybody you think might be helped by this. All right. Thanks a lot.